Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and of course, it is an absolute privilege to be with you today. Now, yesterday, we were talking about, in our prayer time, about the importance of where we're heading right now in, uh, we're coming up to Easter, and Easter is less than three weeks away. And we said that we wanted to pray especially for young people. Now, I hope that I'm not starting to sound like a broken record, but there is an attack on our young people today. And there's an attack on the family and they need to be protected. So Father, today, as intercessors and as individuals, Lord, call to go and minister your love to people. Lord, today, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful for this opportunity. We are so grateful, Lord, for the fact that we can come to you today and bring before your throne of grace those who need the touch of God upon their lives, especially our young people. Now, Lord, today, of course, being Monday, there is, of course, individuals, children, young people, young adults, young families and families with teenagers that are heading off to school heading off to elementary and junior high and, of course, kindergarten and senior high. There's also, as well, children, or I should say, young adults and young people heading off to post-secondary educational places like colleges and universities and trade schools and uh, seminaries and also as well, Lord, Bible colleges and private schools as well. So, Father, wherever they find themselves today, Lord, we're especially praying for those who know you, that they would be lights in dark places, that they would be ambassadors and also witnesses for you. Lord, I remember the story. My wife, for example, tells me of stories of when she was going to school and she was the only Christian in the class. And often, and, and it was, of course, during those days that... Uh, Many, many of the uh, teachers were embracing ideas that were contrary to the Word of God. And uh, they would begin to mock Christianity, and my wife would stand up and defend it. And often because of her debating skills, but also as well the wisdom that the Holy Spirit was giving her, she actually was able to put the teachers on the defensive. And, and Lord, her intention wasn't necessarily to humiliate the teacher, but Lord, to speak the truth in love. And Father, we need young people like that today. We need young people who will stand up to the individuals who would try to mock Christianity and that they would be a light in the dark place. I remember, Lord, myself when I was in college and we would have these um, debates in social study classes or in and around the places where we ate. We would all of a sudden find ourselves in uh, conversations about Jesus Christ. And many times, Lord, I was able, Lord, to turn the conversation around and actually turn it into a witness opportunity. Either way, Lord, we're asking today that you would give us wisdom and insight and understanding. That, Lord, we would be able, Lord, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, knowing what to say. In fact, Jesus said this, when you are in those situations where you have to defend your faith, Lord, in that moment, the Holy Spirit will give us the words. And so we're praying for that. We're also praying that, Lord, those that would come against our children would be stifled and stopped in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know today that the onslaught comes from politicians. It comes from educators. It comes from social reconstructionists. It comes from cultural revisionists. It comes from activists. It comes from special interest groups. What they're trying to do is they're trying to indoctrinate. They're trying to brainwash our kids. And today we take authority over them. We bind them. We break them and we cast them out. And we pray especially for moms and dads who have to deal with all this uh, cultural stuff and all this ideas and propaganda that's coming from every 
factor, Lord. It's coming from everywhere. But Lord, I'm praying today that you'll especially give our moms and dads real teaching opportunities. We know that, for example, when uh, Moses was instructing the people of Israel in Deuteronomy, he said, listen, wherever you have a teaching opportunity, whenever you have an opportunity to speak of your faith to your children, do so. Take advantage of it. And Lord, we're praying the same thing today. We're praying today that parents will especially establish in their homes um, family devotions. They will establish the family altar where they will take time with their children to study the Word of God together and to pray. This is so essential these days. So Lord, help them to do it. We also build a hedge of protection around our families today and ask that, Lord, this would be the moment that we would see a turnaround in this area. And Father, we're so grateful for the opportunity to be able to pray, to cover our kids and our families in prayer. And Lord, thank you for that opportunity. And we're believing for revival today. We're believing for breakthrough. And we're believing for a mighty move of God. That's what we're believing for today, Lord. And we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to pray. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my name is Robert Dean Steele. Continue to pray for our young people. And also as well, if you like what you've been seeing, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.